is my home and leaves in one piece. Tell you what, though. Come on, man. You get to live. That's right. Aren't you lucky? Normally, I'd eat your soul and toss your body. But you're a lucky one. You won the lottery because I just happened to be missing a brain-dead servant. That's right. The old one got himself killed, his head popped off, and now I need a new tower boy. So tell you what, I've got a piece of paper here. Don't worry about the details. I just need you to sign right here at the bottom. Contractual obligations lately. You better be. Remember our little deal? Check it out! Those incredibly annoying fire spirits are sitting right there, in the middle of my village. Their little dance is creating these incredibly annoying barriers that stop me from getting to parts of my forest. It's almost like they're trying to put an end to me. How adorable. Dispose of them! I don't care how you do it, as long as they suffer for entering my domain. <laughs> Anyways, back to work, Trooper! This isn't a vacation, and I'm getting impatient! Well done! Please tell me they suffered. You murdered them, right? I bet you strangled him. Good girl. <laughs> Don't think I'm done with you yet, though. There's more of these pets around my forest, and I need you to take care of every single one. Next on your to-do list, clean up the sub gone well. That's right, you're a plumber now. Congratulations on your promotion. I also have some... other... work that I cannot do myself. And hey, as long as I need you, you get to stay alive. What a deal, huh? But enough talk. You look like you can handle multiple things on your plate at once. Let's get you an additional contract. Pick one, but only one. Isn't it thrilling to sign your life away? Supposed to be cleaning the well, kid. 
It's deep inside the swamp, but it's big enough even a tiny thing like you can't miss it. Try not to trip and hit your head at the bottom. <laughs> You weren't expecting to get your soul back just because you completed your initial contract, were you? Well, too bad! You're my newest servant, and our business isn't concluded yet. Get it done, then we'll talk. <laughs> Fool! Oh, wait. It's you. I was kind of expecting a new victim to step in my traps. I've already taken your soul and everything. Have you even completed your contractual obligations yet? Don't take it personal, kid, but stay clear of my traps. There's only so many times my voice can handle yelling like that. You're taking the experience away from other people. Uh, but since you did step in my trap, I might as well extend our business endeavors. Ahem! Fool! Ooh, you stepped into my forest! You must pay the price. Pick your voice. Which burden do you want to carry for the rest of your life? Not a bad choice. This one should be a breeze. You're leaving all the difficult contracts for the newbies, though. Which is really rude when you think about it. Whatever. I'm off. Smell you later! Good morning! Are you ready to complete your contractual obligations? I'm not heartless. Ever so often, I sneak in the mailboxes and steal letters. Then, deliver them to my minions. That way, it's almost like someone cares about them. But our last mailman has gone. Poof! You'll have to do. I've got a gift for the occasion! Although it requires a special kind of hat to use. I hope you've got it! <laughs> this badge is only a rental. I need it back before you leave. Remember to put it on your sprint hat, or it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> All of the minions who are awaiting mail will have an icon above them. Once you're done, come back here and clock out. Get it? Wait up, kid. Remember how the old contractor had his head pop off? That wasn't a coincidence. It popped off the moment he stopped being useful to me. And guess who else just became obsolete? That's right. You. Now that that possessed outhouse isn't bothering me anymore, and all those contracts of yours are tidied away, I don't need you around. Besides, you didn't think I was gonna let you keep all these time pieces, did you? They fell in my forest, kid. They belong to me! Have 
mercy. Please, have a seat. All these timepieces landed in my forest. They are my property. So, let's make a deal, young lady. You get out of my forest, and we never see you again. How's that sound for a deal? Not a fan. Too bad. You don't make the calls here. Here, I'll even make it easier for you. Now, all that's left is for you to sign it. Understand that's not how contracts work, right? I'm giving you a chance to scram, kid! There's no catches or clauses this time! What if I give you your soul back? Will, will that make you leave? <laughs> No! Hello! Are you there? Why aren't you saying anything? You're quite the character, aren't you? And a tough negotiator. Fine. I'll sweeten the deal for you. Here. Take my last tie piece. If I continue to see you around my forest after this, I'll be very disappointed! You again? I thought I made myself pretty clear last time, kiddo. We're done! Finished! Our working relationship is over. I'm not wasting any more clerical supplies on you. Now get the heck out of my forest! Kid, our business is concluded. I'm not giving you anything else. Get lost! Hey, kid. How's that soul of yours? Still rattling around in there? I'd love to know who thinks they're a big enough deal to judge me. So I've taken a few hundred souls. Big deal. Do us all a favor, kid. Go check out who thinks they're better than us and hit them. I don't usually advocate that kind of thing, but this is pretty authoritarian. Let's sign a contract, make this girl get lost. Once and for all. <laughs> Alright! Let's go! I'll create your throat. the bad guy! Get lost! We don't need a hero! Get lost! Don't leave us! Hey, kiddo! Let's make another contract! Oh, don't you dare leave, lass! Let's watch our movie, darling! 